Okay, this is how you create app screenshots on the Play Store for free. The first thing you're going to do is open up your terminal. If you are using React Native or Expo, you're going to want to open up your project. So we're going to CD into desktop, CD into project, and then we're going to open up our code editor. You can open up a terminal by using Command Shift Delta. And the first thing you're going to do is npmi if you haven't done that already. And then we're going to run npx expo prebuild. This will generate our iOS and Android folders, which is what we're going to use um, for Android Studio. And then you're going to want to make sure you have a server running. And this is only if you're running on React Native um, or Expo. OK, and then once you have your server running and you have your Android folder, you can open up Android Studio. So download it if you haven't already. And then now we have our projects. So we're going to say open because we already have our Android project. Uh, we'll go to desktop project, and this is where our file is at. Make sure you open up the Android folder, and then you click open. OK, now we're going to open up our device manager because we're going to have to start our simulator. So then we can get the screenshots. These are all of our uh, devices that we have already. If you do not have a device, you're going to have to say create virtual device. And then you're going to want to click a phone. I generally like the resizable experiment. And then you want to click the latest API. And this will take a little bit to install if you don't have it already. Um, and then you can label it whatever you want. And then you click finish. And then that will generate a new virtual device for you. And then you want to start the virtual device. OK, so we have the device running. I was running it earlier, so that's why it started so quickly. So if we want, we can pull it out of the, the panel by clicking this button right here, or we can put it back. And then we'll just make this larger so we can see it. And then we'll cancel out of the stylus. And then if, to take a screenshot, you do Shift-Command-S to take a screenshot. Um, and then you can click Save. And then you can save it wherever. Um, I'm actually going to try and save it on the desktop. Perfect. My device actually disappeared after taking the screenshot. So I have to go back to running devices. And then general, I'll take another screenshot. For Android or the Play Store, you want four screenshots. You can use the same screenshot um, maybe twice. Um, but it's recommended that you get four different screenshots. Um, so then you just take four different screenshots. And then you would save them. We'll say screenshot two. And then once you have the screenshots for the Android, um, what you can do is go and open up tablet if you want to launch your app on tablet as well, which is recommended. So we would just hit play. We'd go through, make the virtual device, and then we do the same thing. And then com command shift S, take a screenshot, save, and hit one. And then maybe we would take uh, another screenshot. Okay. Tablet. Okay, perfect. Now, once you have your four screenshots, you can upload them as they are. But I like to go to this website called almostdone.ai. Um, and if you don't have an account, you're going to have to make one. I'm already signed in. And then you can just choose a template. We'll do the light modern. What this will do is upload the screenshots here. And then you can add little designs, make them look a little bit nicer um, for the App Store. So the first thing we're going to do is get a different background color. I just use this color picker. And then if you have the hex, you can just add the hex here. And then you can change the tile. Avo to do list. And we'll say mash your list. And then uh, we can upload the screenshots. We have screen one and screen two. So for the first screen, we'll add the tablet. So I believe that would be this one. And then because it's a global screenshot, it will render it for these three. Um, and then we'll add one for the tablet. And then for screen two, I believe we labeled it two, and then the tablet is two tablet. Perfect. So then we have our tablets. 
And then if we go to the tablet, it also shows here. Um, oh, Android phone. Okay, perfect. And then we can also add a border to make it look a little nicer. And then we can export it. And this is all free. Okay, and then it should open up a zip file. And you can just unzip it. And then you have the screenshots for Android and iPhone that you can upload to the Play Store for free.